Hi, I just wanted to um, put a short, quick video out. Um, I just had something laid on my heart yesterday, and I was thinking about it last night, and then I was um, praying about it. And I just want to encourage those people who are being attacked right now. If you're being attacked by um, a ghost or um, your house your house has spirits in it or you're being followed or you feel oppressed, I just want you to know that you specifically have the hand of God on you. God is calling you. He wants you. He wants a personal relationship with you. He's calling you. And he's got a he's got a job for you that he wants you to do. And the devil knows that. There is no there's no ghosts. There's no such thing as ghosts. They're demons. They're demons in the form to trick your mind. It's, Satan is all about lies and trickery and he knows he knows what God has for you. He knows the 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 purpose God has on your life and he wants to stop that that's all that's his that's his main goal his main object objective he wants to stop that because you can damage him you have so much power over them you, you don't even know and with God you are going to do mighty mighty things in the name of Jesus so if you don't know Jesus if you don't know who he is, if you don't have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, I beg you, before it's too late, before he comes back for his church, I, you, you need to ask him. Ask him to be the Lord and Savior of your heart. Turn your life over to him. Give, give him you. Give him who you are. Give him your family. Give him your house. Give him everything you have. And follow him. The Lord said, take up your cross and walk. He died for you. He died for you so that you can live with him for eternity in heaven. He carries, he carries a giant cross that you're supposed to carry so that you can pick up your little toothpick of a cross and follow him and do what he's asking you to do. It is not too late. If if we are still here, if there hasn't been an alien abduction yet, it is not too late. Please, while there's time, get a Bible, open your Bible, start reading, pray for discernment. You have a calling on your life. God wants you so bad. He loves you more, more than you could even know. So much that if you even just knew just a sliver of how much he loved you, it would hurt your heart because you don't feel worthy. You don't feel worthy of that love. And you're not. But that's why Jesus died for you. So that you can, you can be worthy and that he will just pick you up like a little baby and hold you in his arms. And you'll never feel alone again. You'll never feel alone again. Yes, it's hard. It's a hard road. It's a... It, Narrow is the road to follow the Lord, but the reward is great. And you don't want to end up in the place without him. Because to be without him is, is torture. And you don't want to be tortured for the rest of eternity. You want to spend the rest of eternity in heaven with Jesus and hold his hand and walk in the field and look at his precious face. Just want to encourage you today. If you haven't done it yet. Please accept the Lord into your life. Be baptized with water. Be baptized in fire. You want all of him. You don't want just a little bit. He wants you to jump in all the way. Have a good day.